All right, guys, so here's another video I've been kind of wanting to make for a while now. This is going to be called basically what's in my closet. And uh, some of you have seen in other videos, you know, I've showed a little bit of what, about what's in my closet, but my closet is so junky and unreal. There's no telling what you'll find in there, what we're going to find in there. Uh, I know some of you guys have been anxious to see more of my collection. I thought today I would share more of it. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open the door now. And uh, let's see what's in my closet. Let me uh, let me turn the light on first here. And let's see. Let's get going. Here we go. <laughs> Crud! Katie Marie? Good grief, girl. What are you doing in my closet? About gave me a heart attack. Get out of there, girl. What's the matter with you? I tell you, these kids, they're always trying to scare daddy all the time. Uh, anyway, heart's racing. Here we go. Uh, I guess I'll show you this right here. This is uh, a jacket I picked up on my beach trip I went a few weeks ago. Got this at a gun store. Take a look at this thing. This thing is awesome. What? Oh, crud! What was that? <laughs> Jalen? Boy, what's the matter with you? Man, Katie Marie first and now you. I'm going to be a nervous wreck. I'm going to have to go take some medicine or something. I hate medicine. Medicine sucks. Get on out of there, boy. These kids, they're always trying to scare daddy, I'm telling you. Man. They are something else. I used to do the same thing when I was a kid, so it's all good. But anyways, like I said, here's a jacket I picked up. Hold on. Catch my breath. All right. Here's a jacket I picked up on my beach trip. It's got the Alaskan um, patch there. I forgot what it stands for, forgive me. But anyways, Alaskan Defense. <clears throat> American Defense, whatever. Uh, see, it's got a ribbon bar on there. It's got the Private First Class Chevron. It's got the shirt and pants with it. Got this for $35 the other day. That's really cool. Now, I'm not going to have time to show you everything in my closet because this video will last about two months. It's so long. Let me see if I can hang this thing back up somehow. But anyways, that was just the first thing caught my eye after I got scared half to death. But, um, I got some, uh, extra helmets in here. You know, I don't have room for on my shelf out there. I wish I did. Um, maybe my wife will go to sleep one day and, and wake up and some other shelves will appear on the bedroom walls. I don't know. That's my plan. Don't tell her. But anyways, just a few things I'll show you here and there. It's my 11th Airborne, uh... World War II liner, paratrooper liner. I got this for 33 bucks last October. It's in a video. It's got the decombo size. Really cool there. And like I said, just some oddball helmets there. Then I got a really neat ammo box up there. Some boondockers and some double buckle combat boots. Uh, this right here is, was in my grandfather's video I made about him. Uh, based on my grandfather, my hero. It's got some of his paperwork and different things in there. It's just still a work in progress. But, um... Got a lot of my uniforms and jackets in here. I got a couple World War One ones and a lot of World War Two, Korea, Vietnam stuff in there. I plan on making an actual video soon of jackets and uniforms, which it might be a two or three part thing because I got I got a lot of stuff. It's just unreal. See, I got my Navy section right there. Um, just some oddball stuff. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And then uh, here's my. My normal clothes, I got a little bit of church clothes and some work shirts and everything else, but about 75% of my closet is cool stuff that I should be wearing all day, every day, because regular clothes are boring. But um, anyways, got these ammo boxes down here. Most of them have actual ammo in them. Some of them are actually just casings I've picked up after shooting. Uh, see, I got my M1 Grand cartridge belt there. I mean, there's just so much stuff in here. It's just unreal. Like I said, some of this stuff I forgot I had. Here's a nice World War One uh, era pistol belt, canteen mess kit. I mean, I, there's so much stuff. There's another Grand cartridge belt. Here's a 03 cartridge belt from World War One, 1918. Got leggings. I mean, there's just so much. Here's a um, grenade pouch here. Some records in here. Got some Dixie cups, Navy stuff. I mean, it's just unreal old newspaper clippings. Um, I got a couple jerry cans, you know, old gas cans from World War II. I believe they're both dated 1944, if I'm not mistaken. I'm telling you, I, it's just unreal. You know, you start collecting stuff, and I never thought, you know, my collection would be as big as it is. You know, it takes a lot of time, you know, patience, money, and patient wife. And, you know, understanding wife, she's, she's a great supporter of my hobby, my collection. 
but um it's just so much stuff in here i got a ton of ammo boxes i mean there's just and this is just what's in my closet you know i got a room full of stuff it's unreal but um here's my my setup i wore in my video my first uh world war ii impression got original holster you know i got a 1911 canteen got a marine k-bar knife and m4 there's some random stuff on there and uh all these uniforms i had most of them hanging up they started putting weight on my shelf and i was afraid my shelf might fall you know this wire shelving i have in my closet here so i didn't um i had to take them off so, so i got uniforms all that and see look there's just so much stuff in here it's just unreal and, but like I said, I am going to do a uniform video or two or three very soon. See, it's just unreal what's in here. I know you guys have been wondering about, you know, what I have and everything. And I actually, this is my other pair of double buckle combat boots. Uh, the ones up there are actually named and everything, which is awesome. They were in a video. and huh. See, here's another M1 Garand cartridge belt. Got this bag here. I forgot what it was. I think it's World War II something. You just get so much stuff, I start forgetting what I have and what's what and everything else. Got some ammo. Got 303 there. Got Russian 76254R. Got a wood crate of 8mm Mauser. I forgot I had these. I'm serious. So look. I got these uh, 50 caliber shells. And they're dated 1956, I believe. Yep. 1956. I got these at a gun show for $2 a piece. I was just going to buy a couple of them. The guy had a whole bag. I was like, yep, I'm taking all of those. So I got 30-something of them in here for like 50-something dollar or whatever it was. That was a good deal. Here's my acoustic guitar. I've got three guitars. I actually just got back into that, so that's cool sock i've probably been looking for for 30 years i'm 31 so about that's about right about a year old when i lost it uh, got my cap here and most of you guys will like this this right here is mostly canteens look at all these canteens which you know i got a collection on that also it's just all these pistol belts and I just got so much stuff. I, I, man, I could start a, I could have my own store, you know, or my goal is to have a museum, which is far-fetched. That'll probably never happen, but um, it's just unreal. You know, I, I never thought that I would ever, you know, have a collection like I do. You know, I'm not bragging at all, and I really mean that from the heart. I'm sincere about that. You know, I'm just excited. You just can't pass up a good deal, you know. It's almost like I'm becoming a hoarder or something. I wish I had room to to display everything but i i don't as of now um this right here is a, just a bookshelf i have in here these are books all books that i've read except these laying sideways here but all the upright ones uh are some of the books that i've read and i got probably about 50 other books i haven't read uh, down here see the mess kit there's some random shotgun shells and stuff i found metal detecting and it's just this is an old bullet collection a bunch of different calibers i got and got some grease pots m1 grand m1 carbine uh mauser stripper clips m1 carbine stripper clips the russian pouch there comes with the Megant rifle i mean it's just i just have so much stuff it's just unreal but i thought that was this would just be kind of a fun video and just kind of show you roughly what's in my closet um, like I said, it's been, my closet's been in other videos, but, um, it was all good fun, and, uh, I still can't believe those kids were in here. I'll tell you, they they learned it from me. You know, I'm not gonna get mad at them. I'm not mad at all. It's all fun and games, you know, but I used to jump out and scare people all the time, and my kids are just like me. My, oh, my youngest two, those two, Jalen's eight, and Katie Marie, we call her Kavery. She's five and a half. The oldest daughter, she's more like mama, but anyways, guys... See, I got a lot of stuff. More videos are on the way. Um, Milsert Mike, you know, watch that video, my last video from a couple days ago. 
He was gracious enough to send me a tripod and, and phone stand. I didn't use it in this video because, you know, my closet, it's a walk-in closet, but it's still kind of a confined space, tight area. I thought it would be kind of hard to maneuver a tripod camera stand and everything to do this video. So this was going to be one I'll just do with my handheld uh, normal setup. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, I'm really excited. Good things are on the way. Stay tuned for John Boy 09.